Yeah. Here, so let's see them like at one, two, three. Woo! There, you can just use that. Uh, thanks for checking in again, and good to see both of you, and you're doing well. No problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of went fast. It was a few years ago that we made the doc uh, and I've chatted with you a little bit, but could you kind of just describe what's happened in the last few years for you? I decided to take it on full time. So there's not enough, enough work for both of us, but hopefully soon. So I kind of helped Joe a little bit with projects and stuff, but um, he does it more full time. And I, like I said, just kind of come in and help out if he needs me to like draw something or just needs an extra hand. What kinds of jobs have you had in the last couple of years? Like what are the things that keep people keep coming back to you for? Mainly murals. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then just like one-off signs, I don't, I don't know. Like people who get us to do um, like menus, if their menus change, like we'll come in and it's kind of nice to see old, uh, old clients again after a few years or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every year. Nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it's, yeah. Do they just have like, I need this text on the wall or are they like directing you at all? Like, why are they coming to you rather than just printing it? Because uh, we're so sweet. <laughs> they love you. Yeah. <laughs> we're the sweetest. No. <laughs> um. I mean, like, I think you've got a pretty distinct style and it's almost like part of Winnipeg now is like seeing there's certain artists who have certain styles and people are kind of like, almost proud to showcase certain artists' work, and Joe specifically is one of those artists. Um, I've had like my like uh, illustration style requested a few times, and I think it is a lot of like local people wanting to support local. And What was it like for, because murals are fairly different than sign painting, right? Like, yeah. what was it like starting into those projects with other artists, like these collaborations? There's a group here that run a mural festival every year, and it's called Wall to Wall. It's run by Synonym Arts Consultation. They do uh, great work in the city, and Synonym puts us on, like, job sites uh, for to help other artists when the mural festival comes in. So on top of, like, everything we've learned in sign painting and mural making, we've just, on the back end of things, help out other artists when that time comes around. It's been really fun. A lot yeah. to learn from working with other artists too, like their job workflow and like how they, like we had a whole discussion about like how to apply for grants from with Nasarimbo when we were in Boisevain and uh, like yeah. art is tragically underfunded <laughs> and it's nice kind of being able to kind of connect with people Shout yeah. out to Chloe, Andrew, and Joy. Oh my God. <laughs> they do such a good job at that. Oh my goodness, yeah. Do you have any current projects you can describe? Like what kinds of things are you working on right now? During the pandemic, we started doing a lot of paper signs, a lot of moistly mm. signs. Speaking Shout out to the paper signs. Because it prevents you from breathing or, or, or speaking uh, moistly on them. Remember, remember not to speak moistly to each other. So I made a bunch of paper signs that uh, a bunch of people requested so been doing that a lot and then yeah now that's nice out a lot of people are needing uh, some work outdoors and stuff like that so and now that everyone's uh, slowly reopening everyone's trying to get back on that so could you also describe that floodway collaboration shirt that you were working on I made I made this like wash your hands sign for uh, an event that got cancelled floodway saw the post and really liked the sign and wanted to put on a shirt because and uh designed this shirt um, with that on the back and then the illustration I drew on the front. Yeah, and it was a really cool initiative. Every shirt that shirt that got sold uh, $10 went to like uh, a business affected from the pandemic, so. Do you have any other uh, recent projects that you really enjoyed working on, kind of like the Speaking Moistly signs, but uh, any other ones you want to describe? Um, yeah. Rob Comics on Insta, at Robic, Rabbit Comics with an X instead of a C. Uh, in regards to the zines, uh, go follow Bareface General Store. It's the side projects to our side projects, which include uh, me, Bridge, my girlfriend, and the who's over there, uh, <laughs> and our friend Eric, and a few other folks. Who's over there? Somewhere. Who's over there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a few other folks. Uh, you need to follow that on Instagram, Bareface General Store. It's our store for everything else that we do. You should push it more, Joe. Yeah, I'm just one of, yeah. 
Rabbit Comics. <laughs> Fair face. That summer with the doc was a fun year. Mm, that yeah. was a nuts. That, that was, was fun. Yeah. Just everything that happened that year. That whole event that night and like seeing uh, that stuff lit up and everyone out and then like yeah. there was fireworks at the end of the night. That, that was, was yeah. like that was a great that was so crazy. That was yeah. a great night. It's kind of hard to imagine that many people out on the street at the same time right now. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. That close. Yeah. Maybe it's the pandemic in me, but yeah, I do miss it. You start getting nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be great. This is gonna yeah. please make us look good. 